Okay, hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've made a video and uh, partially that's because I've been traveling all over. So this past month I was in uh, Philadelphia for the UPenn Cube Day. I was in uh, Houston and St. Louis for a competition and that was thanks to Cube Depot. Shouts out to Eric Zhao. Like, they did a big favor in hosting that competition and that was good. those were good comps. Um, I was at uh, New York last week, so I was up in the main cubicle office and there we I taught them a really fast way to make 6x6 and 7x7, so uh, the cool thing is those are probably going to be for sale soon, they've been teasing them, and uh, with my way of doing it, they're going to meet demand like instantly, and even in the holiday season, they're going to meet demand no problem. Um, so if you're interested in a 6 or 7 at a decent price, uh, go to cubicle.us or .com, I think both work now. Um, so right now I'm in the airport and I'm heading to Berkeley. So I'm gonna see my goons, my squad. I'm gonna hit up uh, my premium intern Mikey and the god Jabari Nuruddin and we're gonna resurrect him. It's gonna be his first comp in a while. So um, the other ones were like all free trips. This one, oh, they got, I got these with my points, my uh, delta points, my miles. So it's been really nice, uh, but this will be it. Uh, this is gonna be my last trip for a while. Uh, it's only local comps from here on out, and that's because I've been working on some pretty big projects, like huge stuff. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've probably seen Angstrom Research. Angstrom Research, I'm gonna explain everything. Um, but first I'm gonna explain the work that went into it. So uh, you probably noticed a few months ago, like in September, that the cubicle, Z-Man Galaxy Megaminx was taken off the shelf and discontinued. Um, that's because there are a lot of things that require a lot of skill and a lot of uh, attention to detail. And there's other reasons too, but those were taken off the shelf and discontinued. And I came up with uh, the press fit magnets thing. The cubicle, for lots of reasons, you can't offer a product that doesn't scale well. So I thought to myself, what if we change the format and make a small batch store with a boutique style experience not aimed at scaling and big big markets because we get lots of orders to just to test that see your order from one month see that order number and then check back the next month that order number is way different that's how many orders cubicle gets so when you have to scale up a lot of products don't scale and uh, you probably noticed they don't have fully magnetic square ones. That's also because of scale, skill and intricacy of the task. Well, anything is possible and there are no limits. So I think I figured out a way to make them with decent speed, with one person. I'm not doing big batches, but if we do a small boutique and just have a small store where I can release all these ideas and items without having to worry about scale, bureaucracy or anything else, that's Angstrom Research. All of those projects that were canceled, all of those projects that couldn't work because of re re different reasons or another, all of those things, if I can, if, I, if, if this works, I can bring all of those ideas to life. And already, I've brought the, Ma the Galaxy Megaminx. We're gonna bring that back. It should be up right now, angstromresearch.net. And the fully magnetic square one in its original planned design. So if you watched my other video about press fit magnets and how they like, um, they support like, I think one small kid was putting his whole upper body weight on it and it still supported his weight. We're gonna have that. We're gonna have all of that. Everything. So press fit square ones, press fit megaminxes, and two new lubes. So I'm gonna do an in-depth video on all of those. But for right now, um, this is just an intro video as I'm getting to my plane. Uh, I'm going to explain Gravitas with uh, someone helping out. Dignitas, I'm going to sample to a bunch of people here at the Berkeley competition. And I've brought the square one. That square one, I had to remake it and it's going to send a derpy. Now, all of these puzzles, I've put a lot of detail into it. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it way different than any other cube store. So I'm going to talk about the square one. Square one has an M3 machine nut with a machine screw. And this machine's like nut is Loctited in place so that after I set this up, I'm going to put some Loctite so the thread doesn't strip. So that fixes the uh, nylon issue. The next thing is I've put an engraving and all of the puzzles are engraved for free. It comes complementary with the puzzle. 
I engraved the little part that your thumb rests on, so it actually acts as a grip. You might be wondering, a grip that might be illegal. It's actually 100% WCA legal. It's in the equatorial slice, and engravings are legal. So now we have a puzzle that has a grip, doesn't strip, fully magnetic. All U and D layers are good. I've made improvements. The magnets are accurate to one millimeter, and that's pretty crazy. How do we do it? Science and technology, that's how. Um, so the Megaminx is the same as the Galaxy from uh, Cubicle, except this one comes with an engraved logo, and all Angstrom products that are like puzzles, they come in a box that I designed, I folded, and I cut myself, each and every single one of them. I want to make sure everyone gets the boutique experience when you buy from Angstrom Research. And uh, I'm not going to do an order system. We're gonna, you, you're not going to order something and wait a long time because I'm doing a stock system. These puzzles are already made before they're put on the site. So if it says in stock five and you buy it when it's in stock, it ships the next day. Now, that means you'll have to check the website every now and then, but if you don't want to check, they have the option for pre-order. If you pre-order, it guarantees that you can get that puzzle in the future and you don't have to wait because this is going to be a first come, first serve basis. Um, I think that's going to suit everyone. So people who are fast, and people who want to guarantee their spot, I want to make sure that there's something for everyone. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to try to offer some really cool things in the future. So every idea that I've had, I can bring it to life now because it's small scale, it's boutique style. And I'm not trying to make huge profit. I don't want this to get big. Like, all I want for this is an outlet for my ideas. I couldn't let these ideas die. I knew people wanted fully magnetic square ones. And I'm gonna do whatever I can to get that to people. And that's what Angstrom Research is. This is Angstrom Research. And all the proceeds at the end of this, this is only gonna last a year. Because in a year, I go into my final two semesters for my degree, and I'm just gonna use all of that money to pay my tuition, my gas, and my lunch money. This isn't for profit. Angstrom Research is for ideas and to put me through college because I already have an undergrad degree. When you go back to school for another undergrad, you don't get financial aid because people already say, oh, you've already done this, save it for the other kids. So it's a uh, good, I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna do it. Instead of doing 100% loans, I'm gonna put it on loans and hopefully pay back the loans with the sales from my hard work, Angstrom Research. So thanks everyone and I uh, hope to give you more updates soon. When I land in Berkeley, we're gonna talk about the lubes, we're gonna get people's opinions on the square one, we're gonna make this a reality. So thanks for listening everyone, see you in the next video.